Well, I have either made the smartest or the dumbest decision of my life today. Um, this is day one. It is June 10th, 2017. Um, my aunt gave me an old treadmill. And my whole body hurts from walking on it. And today is the first day without cigarettes in 30 years. Yeah, I've been a 30-year smoker. And yeah, you're, I'm going to be eating popcorn because... I'm kind of antsy tonight. Today went great. I was calm. I washed up all the ashtrays. I put them away. I didn't even, you know, have any major cravings or, you know, panic attacks or tears because it kind of throws me into tears. Um, I have not even attempted to call anyone to take me to get any cigarettes number one because I have very little money and at the rate I'm going I'm going to need to buy more popcorn before the month's over and uh, the doctor has me on a calorie count and the popcorn actually puts me over a little bit but he also wants me to quit smoking so I can't do both extremely well right now. I have to get over that hump. But as long as it's just a few calories and it's only because of popcorn and I'm not eating like, you know, a thousand calories too many. I'm just eating like nine. That's what it is. The popcorn threw me nine calories over and I count. I've been beating myself up over it. And it's nine fucking calories. I need to get over it. I've not had a cigarette all day. That's a major accomplishment. I did take a nap this afternoon, and all I want to do is sleep now, and I'm freezing. That's why I got my sweater on. Um, I don't know if that's due to the nicotine trying to leave my system. I need a fucking haircut. I don't really give a shit. I'm kind of cranky. It would probably be best if I just went to bed and said to hell with it. But I decided I needed to do a video diary thing to track my progress with the smoking, the quit, stop smoking shit. Oh my God, it's so hard. Sm Non-smokers don't know how fucking hard it is. This is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. I have left the love of my life in the past <coughs> and not look back. This is harder than that. Yeah. And I don't know why. I don't know why smoking is so addictive and so hard to quit. Yes, I do. Because I view smoking as pain management, a nerve pill, um, appetite suppressant. You know, I'm over right now, but imagine if I didn't smoke, how freaking fat I would be. Yeah. Like, when my pain gets out of whack. I would smoke a cigarette. If my nerves were shot and I was all upset, I'd smoke a cigarette and calm down. Yeah. Because you use it as a crutch for all kinds of things. Emotional, physical. I actually enjoyed smoking. I did not technically want to quit at this point, but I knew I needed to. Money-wise, it's just eating a hole in my budget that I don't have. 
and I never ever ask anyone to buy me cigarettes. Ever. If I can't buy them on my own, I don't buy them. But I uh, paid a couple bills for my kid this month. So there went my cigarette money. So I decided might as well quit. If you don't have it, you can't smoke it. I thought I need the patches or the gum or the lozenges or something. That shit's just as expensive as cigarettes. And according to that system, it's a three-step system. Takes you six weeks to quit. Because technically, while you're wearing those patches in the first two weeks, you're still technically a smoker because it's putting nicotine into your system at a steady stream. I don't know. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I'll do something tomorrow night. It may be ugly and cussy and irritable. Right now I'm just munching on popcorn thinking, damn, is it bedtime yet? And it's just, you know, 20 to 7 at night. So, yeah. Not a great day. But I've definitely had worse. So day one. Over and out.